I'm gonna... We're gonna do a tier list now, y'all. This is a tier list of all the games I played in 2022 and 2023. Okay, how I'm gonna rate this is S is... I had a great experience. I would play it again. Replayability is, is important for me in S. Okay? F is I would have been better off not playing this ever. <laughs> you change the names? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Replayable. Can I make this bigger? No. Hello. What the fuck? How did I even do that? Wish I never played. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I'm gonna move this complete thing for now. My official complete thing starts tomorrow, by the way, chat. So that's why I'm not super addressing it tonight but tomorrow basically we're doing uh counter-strike fridays <laughs> it's a whole thing where i can win points toward giving away a capture card to my community okay we will cover all of this tomorrow but basically i need you guys to teach me how to play cs so that i can get points so that i can give you guys a, a capture card not a capture card a graphics card I, I said capture card, didn't I? Obviously, I meant we ain't getting that GPU. No, with that attitude. We can do this. <laughs> what the fuck? Play today to get some practice already. I want to finish Cyberpunk today. That's, that's, that's on my uh, menu. Hogwarts. Extremely mid. <clears throat> Hogwarts started off really good. With this, the nostalgia hit hard. Um, it was very fun, like getting to know the different parts of the game. But it fell off so fucking hard. And I don't know why they made it open world when the open world felt so fucking empty. It didn't run very well, and I can I could cast Destructo in the faces of NPCs, and they wouldn't even blink. So, because of that, at best, it's a C. It felt empty. It had a lot of promise, but they just didn't feel finished. Zelda, I don't know which Zelda this is, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I loved it. I think this is Breath of the Wild. It's beautiful, I love it. Time to replay it. I was gonna replay it on the treadmill, but then I... It was really hard to aim whilst walking. So I was like, this is not gonna work. <sighs> Maybe I'll replay it in bed or something. Play it up! I actually love play it up. My baby. You know, when I look at how I grew up, for a long time, I didn't even know how poor we The problem is, because, I would have to play with them. And <laughs> so bad. It seems like we had so much. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should, we should play, play it up uh, with chat. Cry of fear. Okay, so I did rage quit Cry of Fear in the last 10 minutes of the game. I, I, I probably will still finish that. Maybe we should try finishing it tomorrow or something. So basically, I rage quit this game because... Um, basically, I was in a maze underwater 
in the dark getting one shot and I was like, I can't, not, no. It was very fun to watch for the reasons it was annoying to play. Falsehood. Thank you, EU, for the 43 months. Wait, let me do the dock yell perfectly. Hold on. <laughs> he never do it. He does this. Did I do it? I think I did it. Can't tell. <laughs> Pick a park for it. No wonder he quit. It had all the elements. It was underwater, in the dark, in the maze. That being said, it was very fun to play, but I think it was only fun to play because I was streaming it, because the moments that were fun were so fun. I cannot give it higher than a C though. If I wasn't streaming, I wouldn't play that game. But it was very fun to stream it. <sighs> Done. This is Witcher 3, right? I think it's Witcher 3. It wouldn't even matter. Obviously, it's replayable for me. I literally played it twice. <laughs> I would play it again. But I think people would lose their mind. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Gavatron, for the 25 ones. It's a great game. It's a great game. It's wonderful. It's so immersive. The S games for me needs to be immersive i need to get lost in that world that's what i'm looking for witcher definitely does that so well and it's got boobies i mean it's got boobies and hot men what more do you want house of ashes okay this might sound weird but i think about house of ashes often which I can't explain, other than I probably had a great time. No, but I played it by myself, Smogren. I played it once with him, and he kept killing off everyone, and then I played it once by myself, and I had a much better time. <laughs> this, this is gonna become a reoccurring theme. And for some reason, I keep seeing things in the real world where I'm like, oh, this is like House of Ashes. And I don't know why, but I, it left an impression on me for whatever reason. No, like the the vid, like the art and the visuals and like the the world building and I don't know. I actually really quite enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. I I, I enjoyed it. I think it, this would be fun to replay with like different friends too. Because it's it's kind of wacky and goofy, but in a good way. Slime Rancher, I barely played. I barely got into. Sorry. I tried playing this while I was sick and not streaming. I played it for like one and a half hours. I got bored. It's not bad enough to be an F, but I don't know why. It just didn't capture me. Sorry, Slime Rancher. The Witcher, I can't tell which Witcher this is, but I think it's one. I played both Witcher 1, 2, and 3 on stream. Witcher 2, I would rate very low. Which Witcher is this? Share on Facebook. It's tiny. Oh, replayable. Well, it is replayable though. I guess I'm, wait I'm waiting for... Um, for it to be remastered. I'm gonna put it in A. Why would you rate Witcher too low? It was a horrible uh, experience to play. Sorry. Witcher 2 is not this year, but it's, it's, um, 2022. It ran really, really poorly. Uh, the politics were super confusing to me. And in general, the gameplay just was not as nearly as fun as Witcher 1. Which one is great. Which one you can replay and it's beautiful. Which one is wonky in like, in endearing ways. Where Witcher 2 was is wonky in irritating ways. 
you know? A lot of old games are very well to play today, but they, they need to have aged somewhat favorable, which two just didn't. I can't even tell what this is, it's so small. Oh, is that? That's Leon. Which which game is this? Tavern Master is great. Well, Tavern Master is great for like a week. Resident Evil 4, so I'm gonna, we're gonna say the remastered version. That's the one I played. I had a great fucking time. Leon's one-liners. One are amazing. Ashley is goofy as hell, but in a good way. And then fucking Ada just comes in and steals the show. No, I, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Vampire Survive. I mean, a lot of these games are like, I will play them for two weeks and then get bored. So I can't give them more than a C. Even though I enjoyed myself in those two weeks. <laughs> Thank you, Snoop. <laughs> How good are they for their prize? No, I can't judge a game by that. This is the Mortuary's Assistant. Actually, a really fucking good horror game. I might even fucking put it here. Every time there's been an update, it's been very fun and exciting to play it. And this this scares and mortuary's assistant don't feel cheap like other horror games. I actually really enjoy the the spooks because it's, it's a very well executed game. I like mortuary's assistant a lot. I, I hope they keep updating it. I want more content in it, more monsters, more scares, more everything. Yes. It's fun to play, fun to stream, and fun to watch. Let's go. Resident Evil 2. I think I enjoyed it as much as this one, to be honest. Wait, there's a lot of... Hold on. There's a... I'm gonna need some help here with what is what. Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 4. This is the same game, no? But this is the remastered one? Is this correct? Okay. So I'm gonna leave that here then. Uh, I, I, I really like them both. One of them is the one in the sewer. <laughs> Which one is that? Cause that one's gonna go down here. I think it's this one. <laughs> Just because of those awful sewers, you get a beat. Hello, Emmy. The remake, yes, yes. I, I never played this uh, original. I only played the remake, so. I can only judge this one. Lethal Company is great. I This game has a lot of potential. I want to play it with the group that actually tries harder. Only B. I'm rating it B because my time playing it hasn't been excellent. <laughs> because I got stuck with the I'm gonna carry things from the door to the ship roll every time we played on Fridays. So, I mean, I didn't get the fun, the, the best parts of the game personally. But it has a lot of potential, so I'm gonna put it here. This game is so dependent on who you play with, you know? You offered that yourself? Yes, I did. I did, because I could tell this is the only way we're getting anywhere, and we never got anywhere anyway. <sighs> like, it's literally here or here. This is horrible. Hop on League? I would love to, Ken. We should play League one day. Now I'm gonna leave it here just because Metris. <laughs> Get fucked, League Nerds. Metris, 
I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for League. I can't put Wish I Never Played League because I literally wouldn't be here. Okay, that sounds very dramatic. I wouldn't be a streamer. <laughs> it's more like it. I would not be streaming. I wouldn't be Yabba. I am Yabba because of League of Legends. That's the sacrifice I'm willing to make? Wow. I never seen a white woman with brown hair. That's just not true. I want your superior white jeans in my Indian kids. You're beautiful and exotic to me. I want to eat your silky smooth vanilla milky white skin. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, Final Fantasy is too weeb for me, sorry. The only reason this made this list at all is because I was paid to play. <laughs> it's fun to play when I stream it, but it's not it's not for me. Slam Rancher in the I, I played it for an hour by myself, Emmy, and I got bored. I don't know what to tell you. This is what you're to, yes? It has a few good moments, but goddamn. It's like here or here for me. Like here. Witcher 4? What are you talking about? There's no Witcher 4. Minecraft! I love Minecraft. Think you would enjoy if you replayed it? I don't. The performance issues and the things that I had issues with would, would still be an issue today. It's a very confusing game. It's a very confusing game. If that was fixed. But it isn't. Ah. We can't do ifs, buts, and... I have to judge it by my experience. This is Switcher 4? Okay, well, pretend it's Switcher 2 then. I don't know. Skyrim is a, it's a, a beautiful game. Forever. Skyrim is in a league of its own. It just is. It's, 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 it's yeah. It's, you can never get tired of playing Skyrim. Skyrim above Minecraft? Yes. Absolutely. Any day. I'm a Skyrim kid, not a Minecraft kid. Do you want to be a millionaire or some great stream game? The Last of Us? No, they had some really fun parts actually, now I think about it. It's an A. old games this is the prisoner of azgaban is a bad one the sims 4 i mean the sims 4 is my go-to game when i'm sick and right now i'm playing it and oh the slumlord expansion is out today i think oh we're gonna have to play that tomorrow I'm playing that tomorrow. I'm gonna be a slumlord. I can't wait. <laughs> nah, fuck you for judging me. Don't judge me. I put Sims. Sims 4 is not a fucking great game. Here's the thing though. Let me check. I'm opening. For all the complaining I do. Wait, last played today? That's just not true. For all the complaining I do, I still have 825 hours in it. You know? <laughs> it's been out for a 
while, in my defense. It's been out for a while. I play it when I'm sick. I play it in like, I have like two weeks where I play Sims and then I'm over it again. So yeah. The replayability is there for me. Then again, there, I have entire packs that I've never ever touched. I bought the fucking Star Wars pack. Never played with it. There's a whole world you go to where you like fight for the resistance or whatever. I never did it. I bought the pack, never played it. I don't know. The Sims is like either here or here. <sighs> Hell yeah, I'm part of the problem. The long dark, I never finished. Oops. It was okay. It wasn't, it was never that interesting, I think. Subnautica, beautiful, love it. It's not replayable though. Fuck. It's an A. Unfortunately, I don't see myself playing Subnautica over again. Is Witcher not replayable? Witcher 3 is. This is Witcher 1. I have no intentions of replaying Witcher 1. Witcher 3, I could go again right now. Outer Wilds. Oh. <sighs> Outer Wilds is beautiful, but it's not replayable. I don't know if this is a correct metric. Last of Us, so now I don't know. These two are hard for me to place. I might, I might, I might, re I'm gonna revisit those again. Stardew Valley, let's go. Universum is very fun. It's fun, but I can't rate it higher because you guys ruin it for me every time. Every time I start having good times and universum, you start blowing up my schools and my eateries. <sighs> I need to play it like by myself one time. Eight out of ten commands are to fuck shit up. Yeah. It's doomed. Why is House of Ashes so high you hated it and it's really bad? No, then you missed me talking about it. Somehow, House of Ashes is a game that I think about often. <laughs> and I can't really tell you why. But it has left a lasting impression on me. For whatever fucking reason. So it's up there. Yeah, but I don't think about it like I think about my stupid ex. I think about it like a fond memory for fuck. I don't, I can't explain it. I like Slammers one more than two. Golf with friends. Great game. Yep. Ori and the Blind Forest. I don't know which Ori this is. There's two games. I play them both. And this is the second, I think. Both of them made me cry, so... Dying Light. Dying Light is a pretty good game. I just don't think it's particularly for me. That being said, I actually have a sponsor offer from them right now, so... Great game! Burning trees make you cry? Yeah, of course. Easy. 
Below zero is great, but not as good as Subnautica 1, so... Elden Ring, beautiful. I have been thinking about replaying Elden Ring with a different build. Fall Guys, great game. Ghostwire, damn, I almost forgot about this game. Did I finish this game? This is a Ubisoft game. This is a very Ubisoft game, but I think it actually is Bethesda. It's Bethesda with someone else. I don't remember. But it, it, it feels like a Ubisoft game. <laughs> it has, it has, it had some good moments, but for some reason, literally forgot to play it. Starfield, I don't know where to place. Easy. People with index. Alright. You guys are so silly. Can you play tactics? I really enjoy actually. <laughs> I played on my iPad. How have I not played that game before if you played it? Well, it's, it's it's over two years. I don't know. I didn't probably didn't play it for that long. <sighs> Little nightmares. Is this one or two? I think I think that, uh, it's two. Two is great, but not as good as one. Overwatch. Kino is really cute. I have very cute moments. Is this a goofy ass movie game? I had fun with that. Have you, I've not played any Hitman games for whatever reason. It escaped me. Harry Potter! Is this the first game? I love it. I think this is the first game. It's so fucking good. Flipendo! I have actually replayed this game a lot of times. You guys are so easy to rile up. <sighs> there, now they're holding hands. City Skylines 2? I love it. Oh man, I love too many games. We're gonna have to clear this up. Arceus actually uh, ended up enjoying a lot. Still haven't finished it though. Eternal Threads. This was a sponsored game they wanted me to play for two hours. I think I ended up playing it closer to six hours. It was very fun, but I'm not gonna play it again. That's the cat game, yeah? You got me where you want me. It was fun. Had its moments. God of War. God of War is a great game. Elder Scrolls. Great game. Observation duty is actually very fun. Wait, is, I can't tell. The, these symbols are too small. I think this is the Chamber of Secrets. This was very goofy also. Bully? What is this? I can't, it's so small. Fahrenheit? What was that again? Oh, that's a great fucking game! Love it. Starfield, I haven't played it enough to even judge it yet. I'm gonna put it here for now. Okay, here's my list. Now start the debate. <laughs> Breath of the Wild one tear down. No.
and so do I. You have goldfish memory. Why? Where would you put GTA 5? I never played it through, so I can't tell you. Maybe GTA 5. Maybe it's finally time for me to play the actual game. You didn't really like Bully while playing? Bully, that's true. Bully kind of fell off. It was very, very fun in the beginning, and then slowly it fell off and i don't know if it was like either you guys got bored of it i got bored of it i don't know bully should have been like 10 hours smaller game dice poker is why it's here and not here elta And hurt you. I said what I said. Fix the last of us. I would probably have a much better time playing the last of us if I didn't play it exactly after watching the show. Because nothing that happened in the game was a surprise to me. And I, I feel like I, I probably missed out on a great first impression of the story by playing it. Yeah. I can't rate this on a magnificent game just because it has a black kid in it. <laughs> It was great, don't get me wrong. Have I replayed it? No. Starfield too high? Yeah, Starfield is very hard for me to play because I don't feel nearly that I've played it enough to give it a good, like, a, a, an honest rating. There's probably a... Couple games here that can be moved down to D. <laughs> Think or Minecraft deserves an S? I have a lot of fun with Minecraft in the periods that I play it, but you can say the same thing for fucking this and this. Animal Crossing is an S tier game. I have been playing Animal Crossing since 2006, man. Not placing it in S would be incredibly weird. I've been playing it since 2006. How can I not rake it? Like, come on. <laughs> that would be disingenuous. This one came out then. But I've been playing since Wild World and that was 2006. Well, to your grandma, it would be S tier. I'm happy with this list. How is Fahrenheit S? Fahrenheit is a cult classic at this point. It has so many fucking famous moments. The heck is Fahrenheit? I will, if I show you a video, you'll be like, oh, okay, that's it. Oh, okay. Fahrenheit game moments. I mean, look, look at this game. It's huge. It has so many goofy ass moments. How <laughs> did you not rate it as? 
When did you play this? Not super long ago. Oh my god, it has it has an ending scene where you just do a ninja fight in the air out of nowhere. It's so fucking good. It's a great fucking game. <sighs> this game is goofy as hell. <gasps> It has a lot of quick time events. If you miss them, it, hey, you. it's just what happened, Kate? goes insane. Are you injured, sir? Goofy equals this? Yes. To me, wrong. yes. Sir. That's how my story ends. This is one of the like best uh, games that I've streamed injured. because Open I it was the the and found the body. This is so fun to stream I'm because it's so fucking to outrageous at times. Can you check when I'm playing it? Exactly Dabba Dude says June 26th. Toilet of an East End restaurant. So, because as far as everyone else is concerned, this is me. This is bloody clothes. <laughs> Stop! Oh my god! Look at this game. This is bloody. How clothes. can you not love it? <laughs> it's so good. I'm not serious. <laughs> oh. What? Oh my god. I thought it was the police. It looks dumb as much. It looks so dumb with the delayed camera. I actually hate how it looks. Not serious. <laughs> it looks like the ultimate delayed re reaction. Fuck! Oh. Last year. What? No, but this is really fun to play. Just a killer. Like, what is this? A boxing match with a bed bug in an office. What's there not to love? Yeah, this was just a random fucking fight in the. It's because they heard shouts coming. This game is amazing. Okay. Quick time event. <laughs> if you haven't played this game, I actually highly recommend it. And that's how my story ends. No! Officially, they called it a suicide. And that's how my story ends. Officially, they oh. called it a suicide. I'd never find out the truth about what really happened to me in that restaurant. I'd like to ask you a few more questions and verify a couple of things and that's how my story ends my <laughs> attitude and answer has aroused suspicion i didn't have an alibi and my prints matched those found in the restaurant everything is great about this game the visuals the voice actors the story that just goes fucking nuts only good things to say Oh my god, I'm playing the pine with you. Okay. I did. I did. I did. Where's my tier list? Here it is. Ta da! The black guy who was voiced by a white guy. Never forget. With the biggest, thickest black scent in the universe. Ah. Cyberpunk to me would be here somewhere. Should we should we find out? Should we find out? Because I still haven't done any of the endings yet, but I think that's pretty much now. <sighs> I'm actually running out of stuff to do in Cyberpunk. It, it the end is nigh. Okay, maybe this observation duty is B, actually. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> 